former Governor Chabit Singson, Ms. Paula Shugart, of the President of the Miss Universe Organization, candidates of the 65th Miss Universe competition, fellow workers in government, my beloved countrymen. Before I proceed, I'd like to make uh, an admission that never in my life I have been with a room full of beautiful women. <laughs> uh, this is uh, a rare privilege and an honor, and I hope that this day will never end. Uh, I usually do not read my speeches. Uh, I'm not uh, up to it, really. But this time, because they told me that I must behave <laughs> in my language and the adjectives that uh, I would be using to characterize or define your beauty, all of you. And I must say that uh, God is really good. Aside from the worries of governance, the, all the troubles in the world, when we look at you, we forget the universe, but only you. So we thank the Miss Universe Organization for allowing us to host the 65th edition of the prestigious international competition. It is an event which has undeniably brought enormous pride and joy for the countries of winning candidates. We owe our share of fame to our very own Ms. Gloria Diaz, Ms. Margarita Moran, and the reigning Ms. Pia Wurzbach. I am confident the Department of Tourism and our valuable partners in the private sector for government have pre prepared well enough to make this event to remember. And I am equally confident that our host communities and the Filipino people would themselves have given and will give each candidate many precious memories to hold on. I hope that the contestants at the wonderful time visiting places such as Bigan, Cebu, Baguio, Batangas, and Davao. It is truly a great honor for us to be sharing you, your most beautiful destinations, including the rich culture and history behind each of these gyms. More than presenting beauty and brains, the Miss Universe competition, or any beauty contestant for that matter, is an opportunity for you to represent your country, to promote your advocacy, and to advance women empowerment to a greater audience. More importantly, it is a chance for you to make an impact to inspire change and even be the change that you wish to see in the world. That is why I hope that you will continue to make this out of your time here in the competition and in your country. Once again, please accept our modest hospitality and our offer of enduring friendship, our warmest welcome, and promise, and even more delights in the days to come. That's the end of my speech. But uh, there is something more that I must do. And even without your participating, may I just give you a toast by myself. 
to your beauty and to your brain. Babuhay kayong lahat. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We now have our photo opportunity. We now call on the first batch from Miss Albania to Miss Costa Rica to join the President and Secretary Wanda, I'm sorry, to join the President in a photo opportunity. Thank you very much. We now have the second batch. Thank you, ladies of the first batch. We now have the second batch from Croatia to Israel.
Thank you, third batch. We now have the fourth batch from Miss Poland to Miss Vietnam. Thank you very much. We now call on the fifth batch, members of the Miss Universe organization officials, LCS group led by Governor Chavit Singson, SM Lifestyle, Mr. Edgar Tejerero, Mr. Wilson Cheng, President of Solar Entertainment, and Mr. Kazuo Okada, Chairman of Okada Manila. Please join us for the fifth group. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request everybody to stay inside. 